Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Lawrence. I'm your host, Pat Brock, the Public Information Officer for Lawrence County Schools. And it has been the last day of school, and oh, yes. oh, happy day. 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 And we're here um, at the Old West Lawrence here, the OWL, for the, uh, the annual Transportation Department uh, luncheon dinner. And we've got some amazing people that are connected to this district, bus drivers, their families, and we're here tonight to just talk to them just a little bit and let them, let them know how much they are truly appreciated and valued. We're going to start right here to my right with my girl Dale. Hey, Dale. Hi, Miss Pat. <laughs> now, Dale, now how long have you been driving the school bus? I've had my own bus for 17 years, but I've been with the board for 22. 22 years. I started out as a bus monitor. And, you know, you always have such a pleasant attitude. Tell me, what do, you, what do you love about driving the school bus? I love that I get to continue to be mama. Yeah. All my children are grown, right. so I get paid to be mama all day. <laughs> and, you, and you know what's sweet about that is kids really gravitate mm -hmm. to you and what you do. And so for you, this was the last day of school. Are you going to miss a little bit of it during the summer? No, it's rest and recuperate time for next year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See, that is so true because it's like, you know, really, uh, this year, to me, it's been so much going on, and it's gone by quicker than I even expected it to go by. And here we are at the end of school term, and it's like, especially during the pandemic, like you all have really had to, you know, uh, be smart about what you're doing and how you're taking care of these kids, and, of course, safety always being number one. All right, cutie patootie. You ready to talk to him a little bit? <laughs> you ready to talk to him a little bit? Tell him who you are. I'm Diane Mormon. I've been with the system for about 40 years. I've driven a bus. I started driving a bus in 1982. What? Yes. What? Yes. And I had a dual position. I was a parapro, so I did that oh for 27 years. Over 40 years? Yes. And how has that been for you? Because I know that you have gotten a lot of kids oh, connected yes. to you. I could write a book. <laughs> Yes, I've had some good students and I've had some not so good students. Right, right. Know? But it was all good. I love even, every one of them. And you know, for you to be able to work in a profession as long as you have, yes. as a pro and as a bus driver right. for so many years, you've got to have the patience of Job to be able to. You're right. I agree. You really, you <laughs> do have to have the patience because they will try your nerves very, you know, so but. I thank God that I was able to do the position, be in the position and be able to do what I do, you know, as a caring and loving person. Like she said, yep. as a mother, some of them are just like, you know, your children. Your kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can get on to them when you yes. have to get on to yes. them. Yes. Uh-huh. And, you know, I can remember, you know, I started off going to Lawrence County Schools. I mean, we're the standards. We grew up right, on Shoemaker right. Road. Uh -huh. Fourteen of us, and okay. we run out to the bus one at a time. You know what that's... <laughs> One at a time. One oh at a time. Goodness. And my dad used to always say, you better not miss the bus. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so, you know, I can remember my bus drivers. I remember they get on to it, especially my, the female bus driver. Right. But she was still, still so loving to us. And yes. she always made sure we was all right. Yeah. Last person get on the bus. Y'all, come on. Get, get. Oh, no. I'm going to turn around and come back and get you. <laughs> so much for your many years of service. We're going to pass this down here. Hey, Preacher. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. Sir, tell us who you are and tell us how long you've been driving the school bus. I'm Reverend Robert Poole, and I've been driving bus ever since 1978. Wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute, sir. Oh, I you, thought I had you. You thought you had him. <laughs> you've been, but you've been driving a school bus since I was in the third grade. Oh. oh, my goodness. Right. And you're a pastor, too? Right. Oh, my Lord. That's been your yellow congregation. That little yellow bus has been your congregation for this many years. And what's what's been the secret, sir, for you to even stay at this job or doing this profession for so many years? My secret is I uh, pray every morning that the Lord direct me to the handle the chilling control, the chilling me. That he protect me and he, over the years you have, and I love doing it. Oh my God! I know mm -hmm. they love you, don't they? Yeah, what yeah, what do they call you when they get on the boat? What do they call you? 
Mr. Bus Driver. Mr. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver. Come on, love it. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver. Well, thank you so much, Reverend, for, for what you pointed to these kids because, mm -hmm. and in ministry, you know that this is, these kids' lives have been in your hands right. for so many years, right. and, and things that you've done and said to them has impacted them, and I'm quite right. sure some from back in 1983. Right. Yeah. 1978 for you. Oh, my. And this is your lovely wife. You want to just say hello? Say hello to us, darling. Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> and so for you, being the wife of a pastor and a bus driver, what's that been like for you? Because I know those kids have become like his kids. Oh, yes. It's just giving joy just to get hear him come home talking about the kids mm -hmm. and things like that and through you know through the help of the lord yeah. you know we praying and we talking about the kids and what they doing and things like that especially if he got the right one up sometimes i say well you might ought to give them another break you know, and <laughs> things <laughs> like that you know i'll be talking to them right right right, right. Like, oh, so you have to help them and <laughs> simmer down a little yeah, bit yeah and things <laughs> like that but do it all it, it's been good Boy. and you know and i I know he's glad that they take this break. Yeah. And, you know, getting up early in the morning. He had just said that he probably gonna wake up, but he but it won't be nothing for him. Nothing to do. for him. To do. <laughs> right, Give it a little time. It's coming back, Reverend. <laughs> well, well, thank you all so much. Thank you for the love and care that you have for your kids, and and we want you to know from the district perspective and the community perspective how important and value you are to us. So thank you so much. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Hey, this is Perry with Williamson's Baker. We've been serving in Dublin Lawrence County since 1965. I want to take this time now to congratulate the graduates of 2022. And remember grads, life's what you bake it. At Williamson's Bakery we put a little extra love in everything we make. Check us out on Facebook or you can call us at 272-3344. Better yet, just come get you some. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard. All right, we've got our illustrious board members, at least a partial group of them with us here tonight. And that we're all here for that one reason is to just let the transportation department know how much we appreciate them. We've got the chairman of the board right here. Hi, hey, Kenneth, hey. Kenneth Payne. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you I'm doing? <laughs> now, Kenneth, talk to us now, because, you know, when we, we highlight so many different departments and we try to make sure that the people out there know just how important every department and person is in this district. And so talk to us about the transportation department. You know, you put me on the spot. So uh, <laughs> they're the backbone of our system, I think, gets our kids to and from school. Mm -hmm. So that's very important, or really most important. So. Yeah, for sure. And you know, we've got Catherine Ro Rosa, Catherine, darling. You know, you had your last board meeting. I mean, you know. I got one more. You got one more? Tomorrow night. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. But you're on the tail end of it, you know. But you also, <laughs> but you've always been such an advocate and a supporter of our school system and our children. And so, what do you want to say about our transportation department, these men and these women who uh, have the, the job of making sure that our kids, uh, their safety and their well-being is, uh, is paramount and to get them from point A to point B. They are heroes and they have a hard job. Yeah. They have to make sure they get the kids to school safely. Mm -hmm. They have to keep order on the bus. Mm -hmm. So they have a tough job and we really do appreciate what they do. Absolutely. Do you remember when you used to, did you ever used to ride the school bus? I did. Oh, do you remember your bus driver? Mr. Stucky. Mr. Stucky. So Stucky. <laughs> oh my God. Were you one of those little sweet kids on the bus? I was. Now if you didn't say good morning uh -huh. to him, mm. next morning he's getting on. He's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna paddle you in Isn't the that head. something? So it's like that was in that generation of times to where they demanded respect. Right. And, and I think that two kids were raised differently back right. then to mm -hmm. where, you know, you have much, you have parents now that, you know, it's a little bit different. So you have to govern yourself accordingly, right? Right. right. Uh, That's true. Kathy Sweat. Yes, ma'am. Talk to us. Well, <laughs> I rode the school bus. Mm -hmm. 
but we were kind of bad. We rode okay. on dirt roads. <laughs> And we would all get on one side uh -huh. to try to make the bus go in the ditch. Well, what in the world? So we would be late for school. <laughs> That's terrible. And we'd rock it. No, you what kind of bus was that, Kathy? It was an old, old one. bus. Yes. How, what year was that? Do you remember what year it was? Do you want me to tell you? I really do. Well, I started to school, and <laughs> let me think back. In 1953. Oh, wow. Wow. So I've been a part of this school system longer mm -hmm. than anybody around. That's a long time. It was. And you know, so it's like even uh, despite you all being little misfits back yes. in the 50s. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, you had to have a bus driver who could handle it. And do you know what he did? <laughs> what did he do? The first of every month when he got paid, he would stop at my granddaddy's store. His name was Peace Fort. Uh -huh. And he would let everybody on the bus get off and get a treat. Oh my gosh. That's so sweet. Certainly did. That is so sweet. Hey, Mike. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I know. Mike. You too, Mike. What do you want to say about Trent? What do you remember? As a kid riding a school bus, do you remember well, back then? We we uh, rode a school bus. I I was sending a, a lady uh, was talking to me today, uh, a counselor, mm -hmm. and uh, she was asking me some questions about early times and all. And mm -hmm. I told her, I said, you know, first three or four years I went to school, I was barefooted. Wow, we might barefoot. get a pair of brogan shoes in the winter time, but the rest of the time yeah. we were barefooted. We went, and that, it wasn't just the, just us country boys. It was mm -hmm. some of the boys. So that was like a girls. normal thing. Like that yeah. was nothing where you would be looked at as something odd. But we did, uh, we did ride. I did ride a school you bus. A school for, bus. And I, from 19, well, I. Don't, I can't do cal I can't calculate. <laughs> it's all right. But it's I been a while. graduated from high school in 1953. Oh wow! And, uh, He's a lot older than I am. I, I was, You're so young. I so, ain't. You well, so young. but I younger than he. Yeah, right. I can remember we only had two bus drivers in my time, mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, like Kathy had said earlier. They had a lot of dirt roads. We right. were on dirt roads most right. all the time. And, Every now and then we'd go to this uh, particular part of the, the route mm -hmm. to uh, this hill that got real slicky mm -hmm. in the winter time when it got when it rained mm -hmm. and we had two or three of the big old boys on there. Um, I won't call their names, but they uh, they would get out and the bus would start sliding a little right. bit. Did they have now, to have back it up, along? Back up a little bit. <laughs> oh, move, move, and and he'd, they'd keep working the bus driver that. until they got him in the ditch. And that's, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you know, it is interesting though because, you know, we're considered a rural school. And so there are so many dirt roads that these that's buses right. have to go through. Go on. And so it's like when you think about that now and you go back into the 50s and the 40s, we still have those issues to where you've got to make sure that whoever's behind that wheel, that they're doing the best they can for safety for those kids, even on those dirt roads. That's right. Now, we don't have any, I don't think, that get out and try to guide them. To <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, right? Not anymore. But those, those early days were... They were tough. They, they yeah. were tough. Yeah. We, were, we were raised out in the country. And, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I'm, I miss the... Uh, I miss the school. Mm -hmm. I retired. Yes. When did I retired? Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. And so uh, I love, I love teaching. I love, uh, you know, being in the school. But uh, I, I always admired the bus drivers. For sure. And they, they, they just went beyond. They did the call of duty. beyond their call of duty, and they're still doing that now. Um, and so we're just really, you know, as you can tell, we're just having casual conversations about for one our life and time what we remember and two bringing that thing back into the forefront of what's happening now and how grateful we, we are to have the the people we have behind those wheels thank you guys 
Here's a big announcement from Central Georgia Primary Care. We're proud to announce the opening of our second location right here on Central Drive in East Dublin. No matter where you are, north, south, east or west, Central Georgia Primary Care has a health professional waiting to serve you. Central Georgia Primary Care, next to Paul's Tower Industrial Boulevard in Dublin, and now at our brand new location on Central Drive in East Dublin, right next to Thomas Auto Supply. Need an appointment? Call us at 478-202-9440. Central Georgia Primary Care, waiting to serve you at both locations, Industrial Boulevard in Dublin, and now on Central Drive in East Dublin. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar. Depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we're with the man himself, Greg Caldo, the director of transportation here from Lawrence County School. Greg, you've done it again. You know, you all have had such, you've had some kind of year. Talk to us about how this, this school year has gone for your transportation department. Well, Pat, this year here, has been great. We had ups, we had downs, but we also had some good times. Yeah. You know, everybody pulled together to make this thing work, and that's what I like about this crew here. We all do what we gotta do to make it work. Yeah, and you know, I remember like when we first started, and it was like, you know, it was national news talking about the school bus driver shortages and, and what school districts were doing to try to recruit uh, drivers to come in. And it's like, like you say, you all had to pull it together, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. And you know, and, and when you say pull it together, you've got ones who are actually the bus drivers, but then you had to pull from the staff. You had to pull from those classrooms. You had to pull from the coaches. Talk to us about that. Well, what we did several years ago, we had schools on the east side where we had to leave the kids there at school, run around, come back and get them. So my goal was, was to try to, once the buses leave campus, we take all the kids at one time. So what we did, we start doubling up routes, putting all the kids on one bus. So it might have been two or three times this year on the east side that we had to leave kids and come back. Wow. But 99% 90, of the time, mm -hmm. we doubled routes, took them all at the same time. And you know, we talked about that. When you're talking about doubling routes, how many routes would you say that we have here with our de transportation department? We have 77 routes. 77 routes. And we've talked about how many miles per day when you combine all those school buses and those routes, how many miles is that? Pat, you got me now. I mean, <laughs> because it's been mind boggling this year. Right. We're trying to run the buses, but mm -hmm. I have forgotten how many but it was a lot of miles that we was covered. Mm -hmm. And before all that, it was like, what, 40, how many you were telling me? About 4,500 4, square miles a day, but we running more than that now because we that. have to go to Montgomery County five days a week now. Oh my gosh, and you know, people think that, so here we are, Lawrence County Schools, but because we're rural, there's so many, we go so far, it stretches, doesn't it? That's correct. And then, you know, and this here is the annual dinner. Uh, you make sure that you let these bus drivers know how much you love them, how much you appreciate them, the sacrifices they make uh, for themselves to make sure that these kids are safe. And, you know, and here it is right here. Talk That's to correct. us about tonight. Well, one thing I want to do, I want to treat my drivers the same way the teachers get treated in the building. Yeah. Once we started doing that, there's nothing that I could that I couldn't ask no driver to do that would refuse to do anything. Yeah. All of these drivers, we pull together and work together as a team. Sure. And that's what make it enjoyable and easy for me. And you know, Greg, we just want you to know how much we appreciate you because you really pour a lot of love into the drivers. When they've got an issue, you bend over backwards to help them. And that's things that people don't even see or don't even know. And so we thank you for all that you do and the sacrifices you make. And you get here early. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 
you get here early and you told me one time, you said, look, when a bus has to leave this lot, I need to make sure that I'm there. That's correct. I get here, I get on my job every morning at 5.15. Majority of the time it'd be 5.15, 5.30 before I leave in the afternoon. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the outpouring of love that you have for these drivers. Thank you for how you give. I mean, you know, you give yourself and you give of yourself so much. You even have to drive route sometimes too. That's correct. So. I, I drove a route probably more than half of the year. I started off driving first day of school, but yeah. it's part of the job, yeah. no problem. We do what we gotta do. And thank you for doing excellent at what you do. Thank you. This is Mr. Greg Paldo, ladies and gentlemen, the transportation director here for Lawrence County Schools.